So the key thing about the policy optimizer is it allows you to spot those gaps in your prevention posture and close them up by converting those legacy port-based rules over to uh, app ID based rules. The other key thing is this is not necessarily a manual action or a manual process. You have to do all by your lonesome. The policy optimizer runs in the background and it's constantly watching all of the data logged by the firewall and it puts that into a separate database that at the top of every hour, it makes a, the, the results of the findings available to you in this new section of your policies tab called the policy optimizer which you'll see in a second. And then the other great thing, because this is running continuously, you could let it go for weeks or months and then come back to it when you get time and then catch up with everything that's happened during that time period. And that's not a bad approach because you've given the, the traffic that goes through your firewall a chance to get kind of steady state as far as the policy optimizer is concerned. And there's ways you can see which rules are, are continuously changing and seeing new app IDs, or which rules are fairly steady state, and you'll see that in our demo. I love the fact that we can save time. I mean, I don't have enough of it. I don't know about anybody else, but saving time, that's a, that's a whenever anybody says they're saving time, I'm in. I love me some time, hate to give it away for free. So yeah, let's save some. <laughs> All right, so let's look at a, a typical scenario that many of our customers find themselves in where, you know, they, they decided to purchase Palo Alto Network's firewalls and they had a legacy firewall that had an established rule set that was working for them, maybe not as secure as, as they're, they're working towards, but they, they don't want to lose everything or start from scratch and reinvent the wheel. So they can use a tool like our Expedition Migration Tool to convert the legacy firewall rule set into a Palo Alto Network's firewall rule set but you should not consider yourself to be done after the migration has finished. There is still more work to do, and this is where the policy optimizer comes in. It allows you to continuously, or in an ongoing basis, assess what your posture is and make minuscule improvements or major improvements, depending on how bad things turn out to be in the policy optimizer. And you should follow up after you've made those changes by taking your config through the best practice assessment tool, which Jason and I have talked about on at least two previous episodes. And we're going to continuously talk about it because it gives you that confidence to know that you're configuring your security rule set in the way that's recommended by Palo Alto Networks, the vendor of the product. Now, Jason, I know you're a big fan of the best practice assessment tool. How do you feel about this approach? Yay, BPA! B <laughs> P-A, B-B-P-A. Yeah, perfect. You know, it, it may sound a little silly to everyone, but this tool is so great. Please get excited too.